Hello, Jesse here, and welcome to Leather and Tea Time, where I'm gonna drink some tea, and I'm gonna work on some leather. What my channel is about is really about me being able to talk about anything and everything I wanna talk about. So what I'm gonna be doing with my channel, um, at least for the time being, is really just posting whatever I want, whatever I feel like, and for right now, what I feel like doing is just work on another craft and talking to the camera. So that's what I'm gonna do. No promises of me finishing whatever I'm gonna start because I'm not good at talking to the camera and working on my leather, not, not as of yet. Topic of today's video is gonna be why goals are holding you back. And I'll get into that, but first I'm gonna say I'm making a wallet. Even if I don't uh, finish it on camera, I'll probably still show you at the end uh, when I do finish it. I'm using these uh, belt cutter scissors, just got them, pretty cool. Pretty snippy, all right. I'll glide as I thought they would, but okay. What do I mean when I say goals are holding you back? I'm not saying that you having a goal is a bad thing. When I talk about that, I'm always gonna be talking from a place of experience. I'm never just gonna throw in a topic and just kind of ramble about it. I'm always gonna pull it from something that I've gone through because that's all I can really say or relate to because all I can talk about is what I've gone through. So in the past, when I've had goals, they've usually been a good thing because you know you put your eyes set to something like I'm gonna finish school and get a bachelor's degree. It's a good goal to have. Well, when goals can hold you back is when, when you tell yourself, I'm gonna finish school and get a high paying studio job. And then when you don't get that job or you don't get that thing that you said you were gonna get from you completing a certain thing, like I'm gonna get a high paying job doing this specific thing after I finish school. Um, that can hold you back because maybe you finish school, you finish whatever it is that you're working on and then you expect something to happen from you accomplishing your goal. Something I thought I was gonna happen after I finished school was have consistent work as a cinematographer. And yeah, I work full time as a videographer, but I'm not necessarily doing what I envision myself doing. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because now I'm doing something that is completely different from what I was thinking I wanted to do, but I feel like I'm, I'm in a lot better path now just because I'm looking at it as a day-to-day -day thing and not really a, as a goal I need to hit. I was looking at goals as something that will happen to me if I do something, but goals should be just be something based on yourself, something based on what you can do. Maybe you getting a job is a good goal to have, but you envisioning a big expectation from you achieving that goal, like let's say, I'm gonna get a specific job with Netflix as cinematographer, right? That's not gonna happen. I mean, prob probably not gonna happen if, um, if I'm, you know, speaking frankly, it's probably not gonna happen <laughs> to, to a regular person. So yes, having goals are good and you can have a good goal and say, I'm gonna be a successful cinematographer and then you chase every day to try to be that. What does success mean? Well, you have to define that for yourself. Is successful making money? Is, is success having a project um, once a month? You have to be clear with what you want and have an expectation that you can do for yourself. So if I say I'm gonna be a successful cinematographer and that entails I'm being able to afford my bills from cinematography, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm making the grandest, most spectacular films, but I'm at least doing commercials once a couple times a month and making money off of that and paying my rent. Is that success for you? If that's what you define it to be, then yes, you're successful. You see, I didn't say, I'm gonna be an amazing cinematographer that does blockbuster movies. How do you define that goal, right? Like that's a more broad goal that you might not be able to achieve because it's it's not on you really to, to get that. It's on it's a lot of people. For me, my goal was I wanted to be successful as a cinematographer. But when I was working on the everyday, it wasn't really working towards that goal. It was more towards just being someone who was behind the camera and making a living from the camera. So once I realized like, hey, like what I'm chasing every day is not necessarily cinematography related. It's just, I just like creating and I wanna be able to create every day. And once I realized that that was my goal, that was really what I wanted. I was able to 
figure out other avenues of what, how I can do that. Like now I'm, I'm trying this leather work and this is allowing me to be creative in different forms and hopefully this will lead to me being creative in the form that I really enjoy, which is shooting products and really being like a creative person with like a brand. That's what I really enjoy doing. Once I got this videography job that works in the in-house marketing um, team, I realized that this is what I like doing. I want to work with one brand and really develop the marketing behind it and really throw creative things at the wall and, and see what sticks. Um, the, the company I'm working with now um, is not necessarily working with products that I find super um, you know, passionate to who I am. Um, they're cool products, but they're not necessarily tied to what I've always deemed my personality to be. And what I'm working on now with these leather products, I'm able to, you know, just be myself. I'm, I'm, it's my brand. I can do whatever I want with it. And that is power to me. That's what I find success now. My goal is to hopefully um, be able to create on my own terms. But what does that mean? I have to define that. And for me, creating on my own terms is being able to create things where my voice is being heard. And it's hard to do that with what I was doing before, but with this, it's me, it's my brand, it's whatever voice I want to give it, and that's what's awesome. So how are goals holding you back? How can they possibly hold you back? Maybe you're being too broad, like I said. Maybe you're not defining your goal in a way that you can strategically get to there. Because right now I'm telling myself, I want to be able to create on my own terms. What is the plan that's going to get me there? I'm not just throwing a broad goal out there. If I were to just say I want to create on my own terms and in my every day I don't have a plan to get there, then that's how it can hold you back because every day you're going to be getting mad at yourself that you're not where you want to be or maybe you finishing school, you thought you were going to get that job that you wanted that was going to allow you to do that. But you weren't really thinking of the day to day because for me, what makes me be able to create on my own terms? When I was going to school and I was creating um, films and stuff, I wasn't necessarily creating on my own terms, but I thought that, hey, once I finish school, I'm gonna get a job and then, then I'm gonna be able to create on my own terms. Or I'm gonna work a little bit and then I'm gonna become a cinematographer and then, then I'm gonna be able to create on my own terms. But what, once I realized is that having a goal be a destination, that's where it's, it's complete failure because your goal shouldn't be the destination. Your goal should just be something that's along the journey, but you should already be enjoying the journey. For me, I want to create on my own terms. When I'm working on this leather craft, when I'm making these, these crafts and we're making these videos with these crafts, that is when I'm in my complete happiness. Am I doing this every day? I try to. Is this my full-time thing? I wanted it to be, but this is, makes me super happy and this makes me um, genuinely feel like I'm creating on my own terms. So my goal is to create on my own terms. And what am I doing every day that makes me feel like that? Working on this leather craft. And if I continue to do this and try to push it as much as I can, then I'm gonna get to a point where I am gonna be creating on my own terms because I'm doing this all the time. So that's why, really quick, why goals can hold you back is because you're thinking of it as a destination and not as something that's just gonna further along in your journey. And this is why I feel like you should be learning something every day. And that's why I try to, to not waste my time when I can, when I feel like I have free time, I try to learn something of skill because it, it, it all builds up to something that you could have never imagined before. Like this um, leather craft business, um, it just started for me wanting to learn leather craft. And once I realized that I really enjoyed doing it and it's not because I'm the best or even close to being really good at it just because I enjoy doing it. And I've learned all these other skills with marketing and photography, videography, building websites, and, and doing all this stuff that someone who didn't take the time to develop all these other skills would be spending thousands and thousands of dollars on trying to get a good looking website, trying to get photography for the website. This is all skills that are developed and you need a lot of people to do, but if you are able to build just minute skills, you become something that that is so much more deadly to you know to to be <laughs> because you're doing all of this in one and and yes you're not going to be the best at all of this but at least you're going to be good enough to get started and once you get started you're going to be able to hopefully start letting go of the things that you don't like doing and hire those out but at least you were able to get whatever you wanted off the ground because you had all these other skills to be able to back you up 
when you when you could like that's the hustle part that's when you should be working the hardest is when you're starting your business or starting that new venture and you're using all the skills that you've developed so you're working right three four different positions different jobs but you're doing it for yourself you're doing it on your own terms and that's what i enjoy I mean, when i look back at my overall reaching goal was creating my own terms yes i'm making the leather i'm taking the pictures making the videos i'm posting content writing content gonna be sending email marketing making the website doing all this work and, and still working my my regular videography job from eight to five and doing all of that but at least for those couple hours that i'm working on this letter craft i feel like i'm truly creating on my own terms and that's what makes me super super happy so as long as i am reaching or working on my overreaching goal every single day just a little bit make, maybe making one wallet making one video so this is why goals could possibly be holding you back and why you should maybe rethink about what your goals are um, so they don't hold you back so thank you guys thank you guys for watching um, I didn't get far in this wallet but I will show you how it looks like right now here it is little brown vertical wallet uh, pretty cool and again thank you guys for watching if you stuck all the way to the end peace